So I, I'm delighted to be with Andy, Andy Bardry. Um, Andy, massive thanks for joining myself right now. This is just a short uh, video. We're going to go into a lot more detail the next time I catch up with Andy online and go into even more detail on July the 28th when Andy will be presenting at the Central London Property Network. I would say you're under the radar. Most people may not know who you are in property. I, I was very lucky to meet you at an event which wasn't really directly related to property. It was much more about PR. But PR is so key in property. Communication is so key as well. And Andy, for those people who don't know you, I may get the date slightly wrong, but about 20 plus years in terms of PR stroke marketing. Is, is that more or less correct? Not too far off. Yeah, I started out in marketing in 1998. So I've spent the last, whatever that is, years, 24 years or so, in marketing and communications roles, whether that's for big tech companies, big brands, or also property sector companies, whether that's architects, interior designers, or more recently as the co-founder of a, an architectural practice. So in terms of the architectural practice, the uh, one which I know quite well, I don't know if we can mention the name or not, um, I was going to say that did involve you going pitching not just in the UK but also overseas as well so was that a different type of experience being overseas or was it similar I think you're talking about the trips out to Mipham in Can, aren't you uh, Mipham, yeah yeah for, for absolutely. The, I was going to say for the listeners out there I'm not even sure what Mipham stands for in terms of the acronym I think it is an acronym uh, it's a media company that's the key thing which is behind it's I think it's called Reed International I think um, it is, yeah, and I couldn't tell you what MIPIM stands for either, to be honest. But uh, I guess what what you're leaning into is the 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 fact that pitching has been a part of my career, and pitching whether that's for new business, for uh, the architects, or for my own businesses, my own agency, my marketing agency, or pitching for uh, clients, or pitching for investment. I think pitching is a big part of running a successful business isn't it and mm. one people of the things really, i was going to say people may not always call it pitching to me use other phraseology like business development and so forth yeah absolutely i think you could use lots of different terms and you know when we when i was heading out to to can for mipim it was very much about networking and building relationships mm -hmm. and as much as it was pitching i suppose pitching suggests that you've got more of a defined opportunity to to aim at whereas networking is building relationships making new contacts and that was great it's the same all over the world you know making sure you meet people and finding out how you can help them building relationships and and starting conversations so look i'm going to go into a little bit more detail on the next uh, video with andy but the key date to remember is the 28th of july it's the central london property network Look, the venue is not huge, so places are limited. So um, book up early, go to my website, bequinevents.com forward slash events. And it's a finale of a year of live events. So it's a celebration as well of hosting events since July uh, 2021. Yeah, look forward to it. Should be great. Yeah, thank you.